March 4th, Pope St. Lucius I. Pope St. Lucius I was the 22nd leader of the church and the first to use the Lucius name. He ruled for less than one year and faced opposition from Novatian, who was an anti-pope. Unlike popes who chose their papal names based on who they admired, Lucius used his birth name as pope. Born in around the year 205, he was Roman by birth and spent nearly his entire life in this Italian city. Not much is known about his mother and father or his early years in his youth. The future pope also worked as member of the church's clergy and served under both Pope Fabian and Pope Cornelius. Pope Cornelius was banished from Rome and spent his last days writing letters and facing severe hardship. When Cornelius was martyred, the church quickly looked for his successor and decided on Lucius. Not long after becoming pope in June of 253, Lucius was banished from Rome. This was a common practice of the emperor at the time because he believed that Christians would fail without a leader. He also viewed banishment as a type of punishment. Lucius was a unique case in that he received permission to return to the city a short time later. He would spend his last days in Rome serving the church. Lucius faced issues relating to Novatian, who named himself the true pope. Novatian made this statement after the election of Pope Cornelius in March of 251. He held this fake position for around seven years. Historians and the church now consider him an anti-pope. Cyprian, the bishop of Carthage, left behind several letters in which he praised the pope for speaking out against the anti-pope and his followers. Pope Lucius passed away less than one year after claiming the papacy and likely only ruled for a few months. As was the custom at the time, the body of Lucius was placed in the catacomb of Calixtus. However, today his remains are in multiple places. St. Angstar's church built a reliquary where they stored the head of the pope. Legend claims that demons arrived in the Danish city and that his skull was the only thing that scared them away. Once they placed the skull in the reliquary, the demons disappeared. The rest of his remains are venerated in the church of St. Cecilia in Rome.